Hi guys, it's time for another video update. Um, I'm sorry that last week's video update was so heavy. I promise that this one will not be. A lot of you are going to be really happy to know that I have decided not to take either of the offers that I talked about last week or to make any drastic changes in the blog at all right now. Um, I feel like I'm in a really good place with it and the stuff that we're doing is pretty exciting and I talked to so many people who run blogs and who gave me really good advice and they all sort of said the same thing which was that I'm still pretty new at this whole thing. Um, I don't want to make any big decisions when I don't know what I'm doing, which I'm very glad that I have little cyber friends who are nice and honest enough to be like, hey, by the way, you don't know what you're doing. Um, and people said, go with your gut. And honestly, my gut was like, I don't want to do this. I don't want to make those big changes. And I don't want to stop blogging about this stuff. So, um... I'm going to just keep going. I'm, I'm going to try to integrate some advertising into the blog. I got a lot of great advice from bloggers about how to do that without making the blog seem too commercial. Um, I'll probably be doing that sometime in the next week or so. Yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with this decision. And I'm really grateful for how supportive my husband is because he uh, constantly and continuously supports any decision I make that tends to just not make us any money and uh, have us still be really poor living here with my parents. So uh, go him for not caring that we're poor and for liking me to be happy. So it's a little shout out to my cute husband. This week was Disney Cruise Week and I really liked it. I feel like sometimes I neglect the Disney Cruise Brides and the uh, Disneyland Brides because so much of our stuff is just Disney World, Disney World, Disney World. But um, I really like the Disney Cruise Weddings and I'm so jealous of them because we've actually never been on a Disney Cruise, me or my husband. Um, I was supposed to go on a Disney cruise with my ex-boyfriend when I was working in the college program and I paid for it and everything. It was like the cherry on top. It was one of the last things that we were supposed to do and it was right when the two boats got sick. I don't know if you remember that because that happened in 2002, but both of the boats got some random virus and they kicked everybody off and then they opened the cruises up again and I was like, oh, I'm so lucky because I was going on the week that they opened it back up again, but the first thing that they did is they took all the people that had been kicked off of their cruises because the cruise boats were sick and they put them all on the cruise the next week and in order to make room for them they took all of the Disney employees off the Disney cruise because if you worked for Disney you obviously would be able to go anytime you wanted at a discount and they gave us our money back and everything but the whole thing about it was that because I was um, flying home to Utah like a week later I missed my shot and I was really sad about it then and like cried and was all distraught but Looking back on it, I had a really nice week off, and now whenever I go on my Disney cruise, I get to share it with Kyle instead of with my ex-boyfriend, so everything happens for a reason. But anyways, yeah, back to uh, the blog. Uh, Disney Cruise Week was really fun. One of the new things that we've got going on in the Disney Wedding blog is I put up a little store link as one of the links that's in that top header thing. And if you click on it, it'll take you to my Amazon store, and this is something that I think that they just set up because I just noticing this like in the last couple of months it's popping up on all sorts of different blogs and it's fun because um I don't think it's just a blogger thing I think anybody can set one up but you set up like a little Amazon store and it's not like you're selling stuff on Amazon it's just you're picking your favorites kind of the same way that you make a wish list or a favorites list um, and you pick all your little favorites but you can put them into categories so I made a store and I put like all my favorite picks for planning a Disney wedding and then all my picks for planning a Disney cruise and it was it's so much fun. It was like online shopping without the money. So I picked out like all the best books and all the little things. So um, even if you're not in the market for anything, go take a look because uh, I had a really good time making all those little lists. And if anybody else has any of these stores set up, definitely tell me because I love it. I love Amazon. I think it's such a good idea. So that's the newest thing on the blog. In other wedding news this week, uh, Disney Fairy Tale Weddings, like the official Disney Fairy Tale Weddings, finally put up a Facebook fan page so you can go on there and become a fan and they're going to be using that as another way to uh, talk to people who are interested in Disney weddings, hear back from brides who have had Disney weddings about what they liked, things like that. So that's nice. I mean, I think that any open communication that you can have with the people at Disney Fairy Tale Weddings not only will help brides who are in the planning process, but it really helps them to hear feedback from brides who have been through it because um, they want to know what you loved or what maybe you would have liked to have seen but you didn't see when you were planning your wedding. So uh, if you're on Facebook, go find them, fan them, and uh, join in that conversation because I'm thinking that there's going to be some really interesting developments 
um, that have to do with this whole social networking thing that they've really been doing over there. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but they also have a Twitter, and I know that a lot of you are already following them, but they tweet not only um, things about Disney fairy tale weddings, but they also retweet interesting wedding stuff from around the web, and they um, they contact people who, I mean, you can actually see them having Twitter conversations with brides that have had Disney weddings or that are planning their Disney weddings, and it's nice because it's it's personal, and that's the thing is that I feel like the staff at um, Disney really does a good job with the whole making the wedding personal and making sure that they get back to people, but because it's such a big company and because a lot of people are planning from a distance, I think anything that you can do to make your wedding planning feel a little bit more personal and to get a little bit more of that one-on-one -on -one with them is a great thing because it's, it's a really important thing. It's your big day, and I think that you should make it as personal as you possibly can. And I think that you should be as happy with the whole process as you possibly can. And if you feel like you've got more of a line of communication with them, that's totally going to help. So, um, I mean, I don't think that you should try to have weekly phone lunch dates with your coordinator, but I don't think that you should ever feel like you can't call them, can't ask them questions, because they're very ready to help and they know everything and... Um, I know that when I was planning my wedding, they made my life a whole lot easier. Um, special shout out to Heidi there because uh, she uh, saved my little wedding planning bet on many an occasion. So we do have another song for this week. Um, I wanted to pick something that was sort of beachy because of the whole Disney Cruise Week thing. And uh, I decided to go with an artist that always makes me want to be in Hawaii. Um, I'm probably totally going to butcher this name, but I think it's pronounced Israel Kamako Wiwo Ole something like that. Um, he's the Hawaiian singer who sings that really pretty version of Somewhere Over the Rainbow mixed with um, It's a Wonderful World, and uh, or What a Wonderful World. And I don't know if you've heard that song. You probably have. If you haven't, I'm going to put a link in this blog post to it. But um, it's it made its rounds. like It was in car commercials. It was on sitcoms and things like that. And it's been used in a lot of different weddings. Um, it's actually also our song, like the song that was our song when Kyle and I were dating. Um, but we ended up not dancing to it at our wedding because it's sort of, I hate to say that it's been overdone because then it makes it sound like if you do pick it for your wedding that that's sort of an invalid choice and that's not it. It's just that we went to two weddings in a row where people were using that as the first dance song and those people were also going to be at our wedding and then it was like, oh look, it's the song that we're all using. So, um, we ended up not using it. I think we played it during the, um, dinner part because we like it so much, but, um, I'm not going to spotlight it because I think so many people have heard it. I will link to it. But the song that I chose to spotlight is another song of his. It's actually a cover. He did a really pretty cover of um, Sea of Love. Uh, I actually have no idea who originally sang Sea of Love. I could probably stop the video and find out, but I feel like none of you would really care who originally sang Sea of Love because I don't care. I just like this version. So anyways, I'm going to share a little bit of it and... I will post the whole thing in a separate video on our YouTube channel, so if you like it, go ahead and click over there and listen to the whole thing. And again, um, thanks for reading. I'm looking forward to next week, and uh, I'll talk to you next Friday. Was a day I knew you were my bed, baby. I want to tell you oh how much I love you. Yes, I do. Come with me, my love, to the sea, my sea of love, baby. I want to tell you, oh, just how much I love you. Yes, I do.